Early morning start here. Let's get started. I'm a little leery the dozer threw a code yesterday. As soon as I took the last video, I was going to push that dirt out and uh, start it up and had a code showing. Normally when that comes up, it doesn't take long before it goes into D-rate. So I ended up Googling the code at some sort of oil pressure sensor code. So I'm going to run it a little bit this morning. Check the oil in it. All that's good. So we'll see. Uh, see what happens here i'll call the dealer and see uh what their schedule is looking like hate to have them come all the way down here but unfortunately it's probably the best thing i got a message into the service department of course nobody's there yet it's seven o'clock in the morning so i'm gonna run the dozer for a little bit and just see what happens i might need to uh shut that all right there it's popping open Good. Right, I'm going to push this clay down just a little bit and then uh, we'll try to drive down the sides and throw a little bit of sand over. Kind of blend all that in so I'm not wasting so much clay. As long as I have a good 10 foot wide clay core in here, it's adequate. Big load of dirt. Let's go take it. 
take it down there dump it out then i'm gonna have to uh jump on the 350 and cut some more core trench in there that way i have a spot to push this dirt to uh oh was it not happy about my part brake i don't know what i did maybe i didn't put my foot on the brake when i took it off all right backing up it's nice to have a camera i still use the mirrors more because that's what i'm used to but when you're backing up to the uh pile of dirt to dump out it gives you a better perspective kind of on uh, how close you are and also when you're backing up to like when i was loading that sand out the other day when you're backing up to the excavator you're kind of i lose a little bit of depth perception and mirrors on like how close i actually am when backing up that's nice to kind of look at that and be like i'm about to hit the excavator i should probably stop now every now and then like on my old truck you get out you'd be like 20 foot from the machine you're like oh i should try better <laughs> This truck has got a phenomenal suspension. It is such a smoother ride. It just cruises right on down. Back up in there, downshift. Then you kind of look in the camera, you start to see the dirt pile. You know, you're getting close, pop it in neutral. You got a button right here to push that holds the brake. And then you raise the bed up and dump it out. Pop her in drive and take off. There we go. Just not happy about the slope I'm on. Here we go.
Well, everything's going good. I've already put uh, two lifts in here. Working on the third one right now. I'm gonna go back and load out maybe another two or three loads with the 220. Get this put in here. That way I'll have a ramp. I'm gonna drive the 350 out of here and start loading dirt with it. It'll be faster now that I got the core dug out right here. And I'd like to get majority of this filled in today, if possible. Should be able to get a fair amount done. Keep working at it. Truck's doing great. Good. Well, we haven't hauled our first load yet. I rode with them there and uh, showed him the ropes of it. Brian's gonna start driving the truck. Let me load him up. I'm gonna jump back in the truck, ride co-pilot on the first load. It's pretty straightforward. Just uh, back all the way down there and dump it out and come back and get another one. So now that I finally got the core trench in, we can actually haul a decent amount of dirt now before it needs to be spread. So let's, uh, let's load some dirt. Brian's uh, learning the truck. That was his first solo run. Take a few trips to get the hang of that. <laughs> He's like, victory, you came back. Wheel's still on the ground. <laughs> That's always good, keep the wheels down. I know he's been eager to drive the truck and told him, I was like, let me get through the sketchy part of uh, getting the core done. And there's some things you just got to do yourself there as far as uh, making sure the core trench is put in. And it's really three or four loads of dirt, spread it, you know, roll it in, dig out some more. So now that we're actually, uh, the core trench is filled in, I can start with the lifts in the pond dam. So we can probably haul, you know, eight or 10 loads, spread it out, roll it in, and then continue on. So now it is more efficient to have somebody in the truck. And especially now that the truck is way down there, when it was sitting right up here on the uppercut, it wasn't so bad to jump out but now i'm like that's a long ways to walk every time this stuff is nice and dry up here so i am putting every scoop of dirt on the truck that i can we got to make each load count that's a full load right there. Also gives me time to kind of sit here and break it up a little bit and kind of mix everything together. There's still a pretty good layer of that gumbo -y clay here. So I can kind of mix that up with the other dirt and pull out any of the big roots that I come across. So when you're sitting there waiting Got a little free time. See how chunky that clay is? Just kind of take it, break it up, mix it all together. The dozer doesn't doesn't grade that too well.
definitely nice to be able to fill the truck in five to six scoops. A little faster than the 220. Getting that dirt dumped in there. Set the camera up on the dirt pile. We'll spread that out. You're getting the hang of it. I'm gonna spread that out and we'll roll it in real quick. You can just take it up there and cut it off. I think he likes it. You can see the smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> all right man that worked pretty good there i knew once i got uh got a good straight shot here the beavers clogged that up but i got it raked out with the excavator so it's draining again that worked out pretty good to be able to keep that uh put that little pipe in there that's some pretty durable stuff you can't hardly crush it and uh, keep that draining out while we build a road over here so I like to get this section here done, like I mentioned. And then next week I'll work on putting the overflow in. We got concrete scheduled, today's Friday. Come back Monday, finish this section of the dam and start on the overflow. And then uh, get that set Wednesday, concrete poured around it Thursday. And we should be able to get the uh, dam filled in there Friday, Saturday. Yep, that was eight loads. Got that spread out. We got time to haul another eight loads. That's getting pretty close back to grade right there. Probably another two more lifts right through here. It'll be pretty close. As you can see how much sand I dug out. Yeah. That's pretty much how much I dug out of the dam to be able to put clay in here. So we'll end up, probably end up transferring this back, filling that whole cove in right there with it to get rid of it and you know, I can use some on the front edge and back edge, whatever I need, then whatever's left, I'll take it over there. Coming along.
All right, well, that's the last load for today. We're gonna go down there and spread that out and get that rolled in for the weekend. Made uh, a lot of cuts of clay here. Got one more I can make before I get to that topsoil. Once I get all that cut out, I'll just take that topsoil, throw it over right here into the cut, spread it out, and then I can get some more from up there. So let's go down there and spread that out. You like it? looking good got that humongous trench filled back in actually i think we're a little bit high right here but that's fine i can always cut that down climb up here you can see how much sand i dug out it's a lot of material i we'll end up taking the majority of it and kind of move those logs and fill in that little cove right there with it then use the rest of it on the back slope of the dam over there and right in here as well. It will go to good use. Got that good clay center and core. This stuff actually sets up really hard. But it's still sand. So we'll do that and probably cap it with some topsoil. Be good to go. All right, well, that's a wrap for today. We'll be back next week to... Uh, cut out get the overflow put in and get the dam finished across there